Hello everyone, today we are going to see the most frequent asked question in the interview room as well as the most important topic and that is string, string buffer and string builder differences. So let's discuss it one by one. So first of all we are going to see the difference between string and string buffer. So string class is immutable in nature and string buffer class is mutable in nature. What does it mean? It means that the string class state can't be changed and if suppose you are creating a new object of string class and try to contact it with some other values then the previous object will not be updated but it will create a new object and save it to the memory but here in case of string buffer the string buffer class is mutable that means the state can be changed and if your frequent operation like if your content is not fixed and changing frequently then you should definitely go for string buffer. So with this difference, we can conclude the another difference that is string is slow and it consumes more memory because every time we perform a concatenation operation in the string, each time a new instance will be created which will definitely affect our memory. But here in case of string buffer, it doesn't create a new object and it is fast and consume less memory. The third difference between string and string buffer is that string class overrides equals methods of object class and you can compare two strings but here in string buffer it doesn't override the equals method of object class the fourth difference between them is string class is non-synchronized but string buffer class is synchronized non-synchronized means that it is not thread safe string class is not thread safe but here string buffer class is thread safe and here the synchronized keyword is used in each and every method of string buffer class. Now let's see the difference between string buffer and string builder class. String buffer is synchronized in nature that is it is thread safe and if two threads are there then they can't call the methods of string buffer simultaneously. But here in case of string builder it is non-synchronized that it is not thread safe it means two threads can call the methods of string builder simultaneously string buffer is less efficient than string builder as well as it is slower than string builder but here string builder is faster and more efficient than string buffer now let's see the difference between string string buffer and string builder as well as the scenarios where we should use string string buffer and string builder so if the content is fixed and it is not changing frequently then we should go for string but if our content is not fixed as well as thread safety is required then we should go for string buffer and in string builder if our content is not fixed changing frequently and thread safety is not required means it is not an issue then we should go for string builder execution time of string buffer while updating is more as compared to the execution time of string builder because every time a thread come you have to wait for the particular thread to complete the process and then start executing as it is synchronized but here in case of string builder it is fast and multiple threads can simultaneously access it so the speed is not an issue in string builder Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe for more videos.